Well, I booked my flight. Two weeks from now, I'll be flying to Basel, Switzerland, and then crossing the river into Germany to visit my friend Niels and meet him for the first time in the flesh after talking with him on a daily basis for months now. I just have one comment to make about the whole flight ticket buying experience. The flight price that's originally written, which was about a thousand Canadian dollars, it said exactly a thousand Canadian dollars, but that's not the real price. Not because of tax, it's because when you select a seat, you have to pay extra for or selecting the seat to reserve it. And the seats at the very back range from like $40, $45 to the seats closer to the front being $75. So having paid two $75 tickets there and back, it costs an extra $150 plus plus some extra fees and so it's like an extra 200 something dollars on top of what the original price estimate is. Why would they make that extra? They just try to make it seem cheaper when actually the flight is actually not that cheap and is a couple hundred dollars more expensive. Anyways, so they're scammers man. They're just, they make the prices seem cheaper than they actually are because you have to pay for more things. At least I don't have to pay extra for a check-in bag or anything like that. These airlines man, not I'm not happy about how they operate. Anyways, gotta plan how I'm going to spend my time there. Maybe travel a bit with Niels. That would be great. See a bit of Germany or Switzerland or something like that. That's the thing about Europe. It's so dense that you can travel to so many different places with a quick one or two hour train ride. You, you can't really, there's not much to see when you get out of the big cities of, you know, in, in Canada or the US. There's a lot of like farmland in between some cities. And what I'm saying is in order order to travel to nearby things to see more sightseeing or something like that, I think Europe is definitely way better than North America. That goes without saying really. Anyways, my MacBook will arrive like two, three days before I leave. So I have to <laughs> set it up and get used to it. Try editing something on the MacBook, try transferring from my phone into, because this is an Android phone, this is not an iPhone, so it won't be as easy to transfer to a MacBook, all the footage, we'll see. I have to figure shit out in order to make videos on a daily basis in Germany as well. I am looking forward to this trip, man. This is gonna be, I mean, it's not like I'm going where I know absolutely no one since I'm staying with Niels and his family, but it's a new place that I, well, I, I've been to Basel before to visit my uncle, so I guess I've been, and then that's where I'm flying to, but going across the river where I haven't been before, and also it's still a new place that I'm not familiar with, unlike Korea, or something like that where I grew up. So what I'm saying is it's going to be an adventure, uh, a novel adventure. I'm going on an adventure! Another thing I wanted to mention unrelated to my flight, but also just related to more YouTube and these videos, my goal will be to make at least two, hopefully three extra videos on top of my daily videos. I released two this last week and they're doing pretty well. So, and those were scripted and Chase, my friend said that he likes the scripted videos much better. So let's give scripted videos more of a try. And I just have to keep brainstorming on ideas and keep executing on them. So let's do this, baby. I still have two weeks left before my trip. So I can pull out at least four extra videos in that time, hopefully six. Anyways, see you tomorrow. 1% better every day, baby. came up on my lap. I can't get his face. Don't go, Tigger! Oh, he's going. He's going. <laughs> okay. <laughs>